here's a way that you can tell that you are being targeted. Look at that. Yep. Isn't that special? Well, I'm going to let you look at the first light and the second light. Right now, as I read to you something having to do with recovery, March 26th, trusting a sponsor worth the risk. I hope my captors are listening. The idea of sponsorship may be new to us. We have spent many years without direction, relying on self-interest, suspecting everyone, trusting no one. Now that we're learning to live in recovery, we find we need help. We can't do it alone anymore must take the risk of trusting another human being. Often, the first person we take that risk with is our sponsor, someone we respect, someone we identify with, and someone we have reason to trust. As we open up to our sponsor, a bond develops be between us. We disclose our secrets and develop confidence in our sponsor's direction or discretion. We share our concerns and learn to value our sponsor's experience. We share our pain and are met with empathy. We get to know one another, respect one another, love one another. The more we trust our sponsor, the more we learn to trust ourselves. Trust helps us move away from the life of fear, confusion, suspicion, and indirection. In the beginning, it feels risky to trust another addict. But that trust is the same principle we apply to our relationship with a higher power. Risky or not, our experience tells us we can't do without it. And the more we take the risk of trusting our sponsor, the more open we will feel about our lives. Just for today, I want grow and change. I will risk trusting my sponsor and find the rewards of sharing. Let me explain to you an important truth. My sponsees, the ones who are holding me captive because I've adopted them as my sponsees, have not disclosed anything to me that they're not allowed to. And um, I've had to carry both sides of the conversation. With that being said, I think I've developed a level of reliability with them because I told nothing but truth, but they still don't believe some of it. And that in itself speaks to trickery and a curse put on me to not be believed. The sooner people come to this realization, the less people are going to get hurt because Bill doesn't care who he hurts as long as he's able to get at me. Isn't that crazy? It's the most bizarre thing I've ever heard in my whole life. But it's the truth. And there is no escaping it. It's really disappointing. And I wish there was something I could do to help make it better. I can't. People 
people just simply need to start believing and I don't know how everybody's going to get out of this mess that we're in if people continue to believe the wrong side. I have nothing to gain by telling the truth. I mean, I have nothing to gain by telling a lie. I wouldn't do that. It's created a huge problem, though, because...